So I'm going to show you today how to swap out a broken antenna on a DJI Phantom 4 remote. You're gonna need a really small Phillips head, a really small flat head. I would have like a, a universal or a 11 in one, something like this. Um, the, the needle nose, you didn't really end up needing those. The blade, you'll probably need the blade maybe for a little pry or break something free. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is replacing um, the left antenna on my DJI Phantom 4 controller. I sent it in actually for repair and when it came back I noticed this crack in the antenna right here. And then when I was flying and I started to have connection problems with the video feed after only like three to five hundred feet. So I was going with the heck. And sure enough, um, it was broken. They broke it. So thanks DJI because I did not send it to you like this, but boom, cracked, comes right off. So you're basically getting nothing. So anyways, the hobby shop in town, they, uh, they found a broken controller and they parted it out. This is the factory antenna, it took two weeks to come. Um, not an easy part to find. There are not fact. There are no factory parts online to purchase. There's nothing on the DJI site, um, so not an easy thing. Not an easy problem to be fixed. It's very annoying. Um, everything online was either from China or uh, the the like the range extender things, which are not the factory antennas. But anyways, peeled off the pads on the back of the controller, took off the mount on the front of the controller. Um, this little ribbon cable here, I don't know, can you guys see that? Focus in on it. This little ribbon cable is in the middle of the controller and it goes right into, if this is what you're looking at, it goes right into here in the middle of the circuit board here. It did just come out on its own, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't a forceful thing. I don't think anything's damaged like that. It came out all on its own. What you do have to disconnect though is this power supply cable. So that is pretty much the only thing that you do have to disconnect and watch out for. This is on the bottom of the controller. Um, you have to grab the back of it. There, it is a little. It's your typical harness, you know, uh, pinch and pull. This is our broken antenna here. Seems like it's going to be a pretty quick, simple swap. Happy to see this. Seems um, like it's just a, a simple, if you see there, looks like we're going to have to just pinch this in here. Pinch this right here with this side here. Pinch those together, pull that out, and I think I'm just going to have to thread the antenna through it. Now, if you follow the antennas, um, they both come into the circuit board right here. You can see this one and this one here, and they're actually backwards. The one on the left goes to the one we're swapping out, this one, this right antenna, and this one on the, uh, the right here, right here, goes to this left antenna. Um, very easy. It's a little click right there. It's okay. Boom. Boom. I guess we're just gonna have to like cut this here. Perfect. Okay, so uh, we did just basically cut while we pulled the antenna here with the epoxy. And uh, there is a very small sensitive ribbon cable right here that goes right underneath the same glue. So you have to be very careful when you cut this um, not to hit that ribbon cable. Um, haven't tracked it down, not sure what it does. It looks like it does some of these electric controls up here at the top of the controller. Um, don't want to mess those up. Don't want to hit those. Stay away. Um, wasn't hard, but it is very um, tedious. Just go slow, be careful. And uh, there's only these two spots here that you need to deal with. So you break them loose there. And you'll be able to just fish the wire out. I'm trying to fish this out and then trying to pull this out, I've realized that this 
rolling control needs to be removed. Um, if you see here, this hole, this far hole on the edge here, slides right onto that cylinder, cylindrical thing. And uh, the one screw, it's hard to do this one-handed here. There it goes. It slides right on there like that. And the one screw goes in right there. Um, so it's, it's very simple. It's the one screw right there. Take that out. You pull this down a little bit. And then you slide this off over here like this. And now that ribbon cable that we were talking about earlier, it does control that. We just lift it up. Get it out of the way. Now we can deal with this silly issue. It's going. What did end up working was taking the small flathead, pushing it in and on hard right on here while you hold with your left hand, which I can't do right now because I'm holding the camera, but while you hold with your left hand up here, you push this out, the whole thing will slide right out like this and you just fish it right out. Broken one, get this out of the way. This is gonna just literally slip right in. Should pop right in. I'm gonna feed it right through the same path. And uh, I think we're gonna be pretty in pretty good shape here. All right, so we're finishing up here. Um, it was pretty straightforward. Stuck the antenna right in, it snapped right in there. Um, there's two tips that I would suggest um, paying close attention to. The first is the antenna snaps in a particular way. If you do it the wrong way, it'll only bend um, one way. So it'll bend the wrong way. You'll have one antenna only bending forwards, one antenna bending backwards. So I would pay attention to that. Um, the reason for that is because they don't want you to be able to just keep spinning the antenna. Um, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll wear down the wire and then break the uh, the connection or the cable. So they don't want that. The other um, suggestion that I have is that if you do take this off, um, when you're running the cables, um, if you pay attention when you're taking it apart, the ribbon cables are on the bottom. So when you do run this, you want to make sure that you put this, um, you know, and it's ribbon cable back before you run um, the antenna connection, the antenna cable. Um, that was a mistake I made. I had to do it twice. It's going to be pretty straightforward now. I'm just going to be putting it back, popping it right in. Well, I could just go right over the top here. Didn't look like it wanted to go that way, but apparently it does. Little pop there, and we're back in. This screw up here, I gotta put back. We are just finishing up, putting everything back together. That's tight there, that's good. Okay, that feels good. Excellent. Okay, so after about five minutes of hardship trying to get the wire harness back into that harness, this wire harness to be exact, back into this wire harness, um, I discovered that that's not the way to go. Before we open up the controller, we probably should have taken the back cover thing off here. Um, and this is held down by four screws. They're Allen's. Push this in there really hard, and you turn it, you'll break them loose, and then you can get them out. Then this back just basically falls off. And hey, there's the other end of the wire harness. We're going to pop that off and do it the other way around. We're going to plug this side in first, and then we'll plug the back in after we get the controller back together. That's the way to do it. It really wasn't a big deal. came out pretty easy, and then we were left with just this little piece of uh, wire in between the two harnesses. Um, we pushed it right in there. Don't be afraid to push on it. You know, it does snap in there pretty easy. Now we're just gonna feed the top of this through the little hole in the back of the controller here. In the back, got those screws, don't wanna lose anything. Got it, did such a nice job. Let's get this, we're gonna get this harness back in here first. That's step one. Now we're gonna feed this 
wire right through there exactly like that. And I'm thinking it might benefit us to line this all up. Like this, bada bing, bada boom. folks that's the way to do it we're all done um, popped in pretty easy I would definitely suggest bending it a little bit um, 90 degree angle you know helping yourself out a little bit but yeah it was not hard at all I took my flathead my small flathead screwdriver once I flattened it out and I just kind of helped guide it in you know you just line it up it doesn't take a lot of effort it slides right in like it should you got the top of this snaps in right like that can drop in a couple of these screws very happy didn't have to send this out to dji um, i love the dji products um, the service however not so good if you ever have to deal with dji customer service or repairs i feel very bad for you um, they're not very good from my uh, little experience, I had to deal with them twice now. Um, sorry, DJI, did not do a good job. That's why I risk doing this repair myself. Very happy. Okay, so just like that, bada bing bada boom, we're all done. Antenna fixed. All the pads are back on, screws are back in. Done deal. Very good, very happy.